Hi there guys, and um, today I'm going to create this video to show you how to enable launch control and sports automatic transmission on my Mini F55. You can also use this to activate launch control and sports automatic transmission on various BMWs. I've also been asked what is the difference between VO coding and FDL coding? Well, it's quite simple. When, uh, the, when your car leaves the factory at BMW, it will have been F, it will have been VO coded. So VO code means it's coded to how BMW wanted it when it left the factory. And FDL coding is uh, what dealers use to enable certain options for the car. Um, stuff that you normally have to pay extra for. But the benefit of having ESIS enables you to get them options for free. So without further ado, um, let's uh, go on and I'll show you how to enable launch control and sports automatic transmission. First of all, what we need to do is we need to open up ESIS launcher. As always, it's always a little bit slow. Nothing's fast, but let me, let's go. Just, I'm just going to pause it for the moment. Okay, now that's opened up, um, we're going to connect to the car. You should already have the latest version of uh, PSDZ data and have ESIS uh, directing to it. Um, there are a few things to bear in mind uh, when doing this. Is You can't uh, unfortunately activate launch control on a manual car and you can only, in my experience, activate launch control and sports automatic transmission on your car that is automatic and has the driving modes function. So let's uh, connect to the car. There are probably different ways of doing this but I'm going to go with the way that works for me. Okay, right, now we've connected to the car. We're going to read the VA and save it. And I'm going to save this as FA1. Now let's save, we're going to edit it. And what we need to do is we need to go all the way down to the bottom where it says South Element. Now, Normal automatic transmission is uh, 205. So what we need to do is we need to delete that off. Delete the 205 and instead add 2TB. Once that's done, click this little box in the corner. Oh, I think I inputted that incorrectly. It's got to be in capitals. So 2TB. There we go, and we save it. Once that's saved, now I don't want to open it in coding yet. Uh, no. Once that's saved, we're going to go to VCM. And from here, we are going to open up our FA that we just saved. There we go, FA1, blah, 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 XML. And we're going to calculate FP. Okay. 
okay now that's calculated you can see on here um, if we go to option car it'll say here our sports automatic transmission or is it 2TB there it is at the bottom there sports automatic transmission so now that's we know that's activated on the FA we're going to write it to the ECM module so to do that go to master and type in write okay that's now been written to the car we come out of VCM and we go into coding now and yes we we'll like to open it in coding and we need to activate it and then read the ECU Now what we need to do is because sports automatic transmission comes with uh, a certain amount of different hardware it's not particularly needed but if you have it it's always good so if you've got paddle gear sticks on the steering wheel um, that will enable it with this part of coding so what we need to do is we need to just click on the body double tap on it and hit code This is obviously coding the the vehicle order to the, the module. Any options that you've previously coded to the car, unfortunately, will be erased. So you'll have to go back in and uh, make that modification. So we've done the, uh, the body control model. We now need to go into combi and do the same there. And once that's done, we need to go down to DSC2 and code that. And lastly, we need to go to EGS, which is Electronic Gear Selector, and we need to code that one. Excellent. So now, if you was to come out of this now, Launch control and sports transmission will be active. However, you've now lost all your coded options that you've put on previously. So I'm going to go ahead now and show you what I do to uh, sort that out. We're going to go into the body, double click on it, and we're going to read the coding data. This coding file, you double click on it and click Edit FDL. From here, you can see the cheat list on the right hand side. Um, I'm going to activate everything here that um, I previously lost. So, door handle lights, yeah. Um, I would like the doors to unlock when the engine stopped. Um, front and rear driving lights. Uh, um, soft turn blinks, yeah. Um, so many other things here. That EUB 
blink light behavior that's a nice interesting one i'm going to do a very short video after this it's uh basically enables uh the car so if you was to brake aggressively your brake light on the back would flash rapidly um it's all on the modern cars but you know it's a nice function to have in my opinion so that's all oh, i'm going to code there um, just want to check to make sure launch control and uh, my uh, gear paddles are active. So for that, we are going to type in paddle on the top. And there it says steering wheel paddles. We're going to go into the function and the one here, paddles verbert. My German isn't very great, but I'm sure... I understand it somehow. Yeah, it's active. So my my uh, flappy paddles they work, and uh, now we want to just see is uh, launch control working. So let's have a look here. It is in so many different options. trying to think is it on this one or is it in the gear stick I think it's in gear so we'll come out we're going to save that because I want to code the options I've just selected Click back and go code FDL. Obviously, when you code all the individual modules, um, VO code modules, um, you will generate. Uh, uh, diagnostic trouble codes and you can either use ISTA to delete them or you can actually delete them through ESIS. I'll show you once this is all complete. Um, close and what we're going to do now is we're going to go to EGS FDL. Okay, is my launch control in here? There we go. So we got sports transmission that should be active. There we go, that's enabled. And launch control that should also be active. So there we go, really. Um, everything is uh, active on it. Um, I'll show you just now how to delete uh, the trouble codes. Um, you want to go to external applications, double click on it, that'll open up this app called Transmitter. And from here, you just want to select where it says uh, delete DT, uh, clear DTC. So just double click on that and click connect. I think uh, clear, then send. There we go. Like that. So that now has cleared off all the codes. And that is how you enable launch control together with sport transmission on a mini 2015 F56. Uh, it also works on various uh, BMWs as well. Um, as always, do your research beforehand. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. But thank you very much for watching.